So we're having our um, mission trip meeting today, and we've every week, or every week, every time we have a meeting, someone supplies us food. And this week, um, which is which is cool, we're having peanut and jelly sandwiches. But there is a youth, uh, another graduation party I went to. He has never had a peanut jelly sandwich, never eaten one at all. That means James will have his first yes. peanut butter and jelly yes. sandwich ever, yes. ever. Yes. All right, here we go. James' first bite. June 12, 2011. 18 years old. So, what do you think? What do you think of it? It's okay. Well, you know what time it is, boys and girls. It's time to check on the old eggs. Ah, there you go. And there's the Oriole birds. I don't know if you guys remember yesterday. Um, if you saw the caption that there was only two eggs in there the day before and yesterday it was three eggs so mama's getting busy i just watched that video and now there's four eggs in there wow so four eggs and there's mama right there there she is she's probably saying what are you doing look she's chirping away i'm not gonna touch her eggs yeah keep chirping away She's surrounding me. She's going around me. Look at her. Yeah. You, I'll go back in. Stop chirping. Let me get inside so she can get with the eggs. So last night, uh, as a family, we watched the movie I Am Number Four. If you haven't seen it, now we don't, we usually wait for things to come out on video just for the fact that it costs too much money. I think it's like 10 50 11 bucks, whatever, to go see a movie each. And that's not counting the popcorn or soda if you decide to get that. So we always wait for it to come out. And on top of that, we're even a little cheaper. We wait for it to be in Redbox. So when it costs us a dollar. See, you need to be conservative with your money. In Whoville, um, I really enjoyed it. Now, I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm a big fan of action. And um, you, you take away some of the re unrealistic things that would happen in real life, and I try to let myself just go and get in, be part of that movie. So it makes me more into the movies. So I am number four for me personally. Uh, if you like action and all that, it was really good. Um, it the ending was okay. It could have been a better ending, but I understand that they wanted to add more uh, or add addition to these movies. They had to call it something different, but. Um, it would work. It would work because there's still a lot more they could do with that mo that movie. So there could definitely be sequels to it. So um, if you don't know anything about the movie, I don't want to really spoil too much of it except for these. Uh, there were nine uh, people who were uh, aliens, if you will, uh, who were brought to Earth, lived out throughout the Earth for many years because their planet had been destroyed or was getting destroyed. So they needed to protect them. And uh, like I said, I don't want to sp spoil too much of it. You haven't seen it. But a couple of them get together, a couple of them die. You don't get to see them all. Uh, so we still, there's a, there's a lot of numbers, up to nine, um, that are haven't been revealed. So overall, if I was on a grading scale, I would definitely give it a, probably a um, B+. Plus. Um, that's just me. Um, if you've seen it, comment below. Let me know what you, uh, what you thought of it. And uh, yeah, I'd like to hear your thoughts. So that's a movie review for I Am Number 4.